Hi everyone, I've got some more Halloween ideas for you today, but a little bit more extreme than usual. Halloween only comes around once a year, so it's okay to go a bit cray cray with our nails. So without damaging our nails with acrylics or nail glue, I'm going to show you some fun Halloween nail designs using fake nails. Why? Because first of all, my nails would never ever grow to that length. And second, even if somehow they did, I don't want to chop them off into little pieces for a one day event. So fake nails is the way to go. I have a few designs for you today. You can wear them as a set or choose your favorite design and apply it to all of your nails. I even came up with a background story for your enjoyment. So watch till the end of this video if you want to hear their story. So fake nails usually comes in a range of sizes. You can find these ones from my website. They come in white and clear. Go through the bags and find ones that comfortably fit on top of your nail bed and use nail files that help sculpt it into the shape that you want. For this first set of nails, I'm just going to file down the corners from each side. And that will give me a very pointy nail shape which will go perfectly with witches, she devils, catwomen, or Inuyasha costumes. You know what else is good for? A self defense weapon against the other trick or treaters. Once you've crafted the nails for all your fingers, use some double sided nail stickers to secure them onto the nail. Pick a size that's close to your nail size and press it on. Peel off the backing paper and stick on the fake nails. These double sided nail stickers have a strong bond yet it is flexible unlike nail glues. You can secure the nail for up to 2-3 to three days without damaging your natural nails. They can be easily taken off by soaking in hot water, so no chemicals needed. You can leave it as it is or paint on a coat of nail polish to give it some color or to match your costumes. Next, I'm going to craft the nail into the shape of a coffin. Use nail clippers to cut the corners of the nail. Next, use the filer to smooth out the edges. Then, file the side of the nail at an angle so the bottom side of the nail is slightly narrower to create the shape of the coffin. Be careful not to file your actual nails in the process, learn from my mistakes. Just cause it doesn't hurt doesn't mean it won't leave a mark. Once you're done, grab your practice finger or anything small to hold the fake nail. I use some yellow tack to secure the nail so it doesn't move around and holding the jar with my other hand so I can freely turn it in different angles to paint with my right hand. To decorate the coffin, apply a coat of black nail polish as the base color. Then use the smallest dotting tool or a toothpick and place dots all around the coffin. Finally, draw in a simple cross in the middle with a detail brush and you have yourself a coffin shaped nail design. I think it looks out of this world. Normally, we would not be able to do weird shapes like this with our natural nails, but for Halloween, we can do anything and people will think it's cool. Well, at least I do. Next, I'm going to show you how to do a Batman design. Use the nail clippers again and cut a square shape from the top of the fake nails. Make two cuts going down the nail, then a horizontal cut in the middle. Remove the piece and use the nail file to smooth out any rough edges. 
and we have ourselves a Batman mask. Add a coat of black nail polish as the base color. Wait for that to dry, then use a beige skin tone color to fill in the mouth area. Use dotting tool or a detail brush to draw in some rectangle eyes. And that's it! Super easy Batman nails! Okay, so after I did those three fake nail designs, I thought, how can I make them into a set of nails? Batman doesn't really go with coffins. So I thought up two more nail designs and came up with a background story. Start with a coat of green nail polish as the base color, then draw in some opening wounds with a red polish. Any long shape will do as long as the ends are narrower than the middle. It can go any direction, I fitted three on my nails. Then use a black polish and draw in these stitches over the wounds. We can mix it up with diagonal lines, V lines or crisscrosses. This design is really not that hard to achieve, so give it a try. Then finally, I try to set up Batman with his new bride. Okay, so here's the cost. Don't tell anyone, okay? Apparently, Catwoman sank her claws into Batman and he got all messed up. Like, now he has all these, like, scratch marks on his face and, like, all over his body and he just, like, became really self-conscious and wouldn't go anywhere without his mask. Then one day, he went to a Halloween party and hooked up with his new bride. When he saw all those scratch marks and stitched up wounds, it was love at first sight. So they decided to get hitched. It's a second marriage for her though. Like she and her ex Frankenstein, like they didn't really work out, so that was that. So now they are happily married and both live in a coffin. I guess it's the second best dark resting place to an underground secret cave. Sure, he made some sacrifices for the one he loves. I hope he doesn't get claustrophobic. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Thumbs up if you like the story. Thumbs up if you don't like the story. <laughs> Please subscribe for updates. I upload new videos every Thursday, Wednesday night if you're in the US or Canada. Check out my Halloween playlist in the link below and thank you for watching.